Hello and welcome to my uh, latest What Sold video. This is for the week of July 19th through 15th, 2020. And welcome, my name is Trisha and I am an online reseller and my store name is Sandy and Auto uh, for eBay, Poshmark. I also sell on Etsy and ThreadUp, but this week I just have uh, eBay and Poshmark sales to go through. I have 16 sales for the week, which is the same number I had last week. Um, however, the total is down, uh, gosh, what, about $25 um, for the total amounts. Um, but I will go through um, my nine eBay sales and my seven Poshmark sales. And uh, up first is a, a petite pair of pants, um, which I know a lot of times um, petite is hard to pick up um, because it's not as um, widely looked for. However, with capri pants, um, I think there is a little more flexibility in the length of capri pants and um, people a um, little wider range in height um, can wear a petite size. And uh, so the first sale is this Liz Claiborne uh, size 10, which I accepted a best offer of $14 on. Uh, I also wanted to mention that of my nine eBay sales, six of them were through promoted sales. So when you're listing um, down at the bottom, you can put in a percentage um, that you would like um, applied to your promoted listing, and then it shows up when people are searching as the sponsored. Um, listings. And so I have all of my listings at 2%, just kind of across the board. I know a lot of it fluctuates um, and eBay kind of pre-fills in that amount, but I pretty much just stick to um, 2%. And this last week, having six of the my nine sales through promoted listings is pretty good. It doesn't, you know, 2% of the sale price, so it's 2% of 14 um, dollars, which is the best offer I took on this one. Um, also want to mention on eBay, um, I do not have free shipping. All of the buyers uh, pay shipping. And I do find um, through, you know, the weight of the item, I do find the absolute uh, least cost effective way of shipping items to people. Uh, so this was a really um, cute pair of pants. I really liked the design on them. They were very, um, they were, they're fun and happy. And uh, I, when I saw them, it's like I'm very drawn to bright and colorful things. So I, I had a feeling someone else would be also. Next up are these um, kind of mid-century modern, maybe 60s, early 60s type um, because of the really pretty uh, pink that was used, kind of that uh, salmon-y pink. Um, but these were candlestick holders. They had um, no chips, no cracks, really not even any crazing on them. But I did take pictures all the way around so people could see. Um, they did have a seam in them, um, like uh, I guess like this one you can see, kind of that seam that was done in the... Um, when it was made. Um, took pictures of the tops and the bottoms on that. They did not really have, um, they had this marking, but it was really hard to read. And so I really didn't guesstimate kind of what that was. Um, but I did take, uh, these were, I think, had been on sale and then I took a best offer of $15 on these and they also were sold through a promoted listing. And these were, um, I do try to include as many measurements as possible on here. So these were 10 inches tall. They, they had um, some good height uh, to them. 
Uh, next up is this tankini top. Um, these are great to have. I sell these all year round. I had really good success even in winter selling uh, tankini tops. Uh, people don't mind that they don't match the bottoms at all. Um, that's kind of gotten into be a newer um, a newer fashion trend, I guess, is that your tops don't have to match your bottoms. And uh, this was a really nice top. Um, it had these nice drawstrings on it so that you could um, kind of, um, I guess, put them tighter so that the sides could go up a little higher. Uh, when I do take pictures of these, I do um, always include pictures of the inside of the cups. Uh, so you can get a, a better idea of the condition of the item. Uh, these uh, sold for a best offer of $17.99. And this was an extra large. And uh, the buyer paid shipping on this one. Uh, this was a really cute uh, small handbag, uh, crossbody style. The strap was very long. These really cute uh, beads on them as accents. And this was a really fun design, I thought, on here when I saw that and thought, well, I was hoping at least for the summer that we would be back into, you know, festivals and concerts and street fairs, but that's not happening. But this would be a great size um, handbag for that. Um, just nice and small, just fit the essentials in there and not really get in the way. Um, but I thought with an owl on the cover being stitched on, it was just so cute. I did accept a best offer of $17 on this one. And uh, this one did sell through a promoted listing. And I do also on these and on the um, clothing include, um, again, measurements as I can. Um, in here also, um, I did include um, kind of the standard measurements I do, like the kind of underarm, underarm um, for the chest measurement. I do like to include um, the hem width because for some reason, that's one of the measurements that always crosses my mind. Like, how is it going to fit on your hip? Um, and so I like to know kind of how, how much across um, the bottom that's going to be so I can kind of guesstimate how it's going to fit on my hips. And then the length. Um, I do like to include the length on that one so you can kind of get an idea of um, how far down on your torso it's going to. It really only takes like a minute, you know, or two to um, do the measurements. And um, I, I think it's worth it. I think it cuts down a lot on questions people have. I rarely get questions on measurements. Um, occasionally I'll get a, you know, can you measure this part? Um, if it's something I didn't automatically include. But for the most part, I think people can get a much better idea if it's going to be true to size or not um, for a you know small, medium, large. Uh, this was a new tag item um, and it's a Roxy uh, bikini top. It was a size large and this did sell for $24.99 and it sold through a promoted listing. And again, have the measurements on um, on that there. And um, did take a picture of the tag. Uh, this was cute because of it being like a solid black with just the bottom um, having polka dots on it. I thought that was a really cute design. This um, was an interesting jacket. I really liked the kind of lag and look um, effect of all of these ruffles that, oops, all these ruffles that it had down here. Um, it had a lot going on. Um, the stitching was really fun and creative. And the buttons, there were like three different um, button designs on here. And I think I did try to take some close-ups, yeah, of the buttons, which were just really pretty. Um, I really like that. This is um, Joe Brown's 
And this is kind of a jacket, um, could be worn as kind of an oversized shirt, but it just, I loved the ruffles on this. Now it did have, and I, I did mention, I mentioned it up here in the condition so people can see that right away. And then I do also, so then it shows up here um, also. And um, I do mention it down here also um, that it did have, and I did take pictures. Uh, where is that? Right here. Um, it did have these two small holes in them, like maybe somebody had gotten it caught on something. But with everything that's going on and the way it would kind of fit on your body, I really don't think anybody would notice. And you could even put um, like those little iron on things on the inside and probably just... Um, patch it up and you'd probably not even be able to see um, those holes. And I did accept a best offer on this one of $35. And this did sell through a promoted listing also. Uh, Vigo Studio, uh, these were high rise straight stretch denim jeans, size 20. Um, I really liked the zipper accents on this one. Um, kind of hard to see here, but it had, oops, let's go. Let's go back here real quick. Um, here, I did take a picture because it had this really fun zipper and tassel here. And then in the back, um, it also had fun zippers. Um, and tassels on the back pockets also, which I thought were really fun accents. And lately I've been trying to take a picture, I'm still working on kind of the best technique, to include a picture of the bottom hem of what kind of condition that's in, because that seems to be kind of the most um, asked condition question, I think, on jeans. You can kind of get a good idea <clears throat> excuse me, of how it looks um, from the pictures, but that underside of the hem is really hard to see. And so I've been working on different angles, different techniques to uh, kind of get a better picture of that, um, to include that in, again, to kind of help clear up any questions people might have um, on, on that condition issue right away. And these I, um, these, I believe, also were on sale. And I think I sent out an offer to Likers on this one. And that's why it ended up selling for $29.69. Because I think I, it was on sale. And I had another, um, I you will usually send out another 10% off um, for people who are, um, watching an item and I usually do that like once or twice a day um, I'll send out offers to watchers kind of depending on how busy things are uh, this item this is a skirt, um, kind of a golfing skirt, and I really like selling these um, I, I do pretty well um, Especially the, this one was nice because it had the really pretty um, design on it. But I've sold plain gray ones. Um, but people do like um, skorts because you get kind of the benefit of the, you know, little little shorts underneath. But you, you get um, the pretty look of wearing a skirt without it. Um, especially this one was kind of a wrap style here um, with the seam kind of made it look like a um, a wrap skirt but you didn't have to worry about it kind of blowing open because um, you had your nice little shorts underneath <laughs> and uh, this one though was really really nice quality material but it did weigh over a pound and so this one the cheapest shipping option I found was the padded flat rate uh, mailer on here. So I did have that as the primary uh, shipping option, which probably turned off a few of um, the purchasers, but um, it did end up finding a new home. It was a size 14, so I felt pretty good 
um, about this. Again, nice bright um, floral design, which I tend to lean towards. And this one sold for $19.99. And my last eBay item is this really pretty uh, Demitas teacup. This was very petite, but it was made, um, it, it was so pretty. Um, you know, it had the luster wear, uh, so it was beautiful high shine on here but you can see let me see if i can get a side view here you can see how that flower just really pops out um, is so pretty and um, you know all of this was done um, so that it had texture and depth to it but this was a very very small cup and it didn't have any markings on it although it did have some dark spots on it so i did take lots of pictures of that so that the buyer would be aware that it did have some dark spots um, but again this was um you can see it's very small the cup was only two inches by two inches really um, so teeny teeny tiny little cup and i did mention that there was some crazing um, on the inside rim and there was also a kind of a scratch wear on the saucer here i'm not even sure if i can i guess oh, i guess that's it um hard to tell but again um just wanted to kind of point out um you know that there were some age um, condition issues with this and it may have been used uh, might have been someone's you know favorite cup that they used um, but this one did sell for the sale price of seven dollars and 79 cents and due to its small size and a little bit of um, just kind of condition issues i did price that down low but figuring it was probably just going to be put in somebody's display uh, because that flower was so pretty on there um, that that was a a good price and again, these are probably um, still, by the time you get the box and the packaging, it's usually over a pound um, or close to a pound to ship these items, um, which is why, again, I um, have the buyer pay shipping on those because I'm on the West Coast and to ship to the East Coast, a lot of times that can be cl close. I think it's real close to like 15 dollars 10 i think 10 dollars on the west coast and then 15 dollars to go across um, the country so it can be very expensive um, if i were to put that into the total price of the item i'm not sure i would get many takers for something like this um, if i had to have it priced at you know, 20 to 22 dollars, um, which is why I tend to prefer to have the buyer pay shipping. Um, then I'm a little freer to work around with this um, sale price um, to um, a, an amount that I'm comfortable with letting an item go. Um, but those were the eBay sales and then on to Poshmark and I had a couple of them where I did give shipping discounts and so I'm going to try to point those out um, also um, because I have been doing um, or I had a couple that sold through um, offers this first item was, um, this was a modern piece, but it's made to look kind of from the 60s. Um, but this was an item that was sold at Nordstrom. Uh, this is uh, by Rosanna. Um, collectible designed in Seattle for, um, and it was uh, sold at Nordstrom. It came in this really pretty box, but this um, kind of a trinket dish, or you could use it as a little serving tray. Um, you can see that it was four inches by six inches, so kind of the size of what a little postcard. Um, but still, a uh, really fun design. And there is a series of these um, that I found as I was looking through. This is part of, I think, three or four. Um, 
uh, in the series done in this kind of style. And this did sell for $15. Uh, this was a really cute um, pink, white, had a little yellow, had a little blue in with the check. Um, it was a size 20W, just a sleeveless land's end top. Uh, but I like land's end because the quality is really good. And you can usually figure that, you know, even buying it used, someone's going to be able to get several years um, worth of wear out of it um, because the they just last they're they're great uh, this one I did sell for eleven dollars uh, these next two items this item was a, a Christmas mitt with um, some gadgets in it and this pair of girls um, size 10 uh, they were cuffed jeans they had the little um, kind of bedazzling on the rear there. I sold these as a bundle and I sold them for $20 together and I did give a shipping discount on on these. Um, but yeah, kind of fun, you know, if you're if you're in need of um, some really cute little um, you know, spoons, spatulas, um, I actually have, um, I bought one of the, when I bought it, I bought one of these for myself. And um, I love the brush and the spatula especially. <laughs> they were great. Um, so I'm really glad I picked that up and uh, just happened to pick up another one and uh, so sold that off. And so I hope that they are happy with those um, really fun items. Uh, next up is this Dahlia. Uh, capri pants, um, really nice capri pants because they had pockets everywhere. They had leg pockets, they have two pockets over here, the two front pockets, and then they also had um, the two back pockets, I mean lots of pockets. Um, nice little capri pants, size 10, and those sold for $12. And these uh, Kira men's swim trunks, size 31. Um, I let these go for $11 because even though it is hard to tell, right about here, I think this is a picture of it. Um, I have another picture here. There was a dark mar dark mark on it. And I did try to use... Um, Oh gosh, I don't remember what I used. I think I tried a different, a couple different um, stain removers and just couldn't get it out. But it was really hard to see in the overall design. Like I said, I think it's right about here. Um, but you really, you know, you wouldn't see it. And if you were active and in the water, you'd never be able to know. But I felt that that kind of garnered a um, lower price on those so I did sell those for $11 and my last item um, this is actually kind of the second wetsuit that I've come across and been able to sell and um, they sell fairly quickly this is not one of the top brands this HO sports but it was new with tags um, it was really nice it was um, a two milliliter uh, wetsuit or no, millimeter <laughs> wetsuit. Um, it was a size 12, so it had a lot going for it. Um, just a basic black, um, no fancy uh, designs on it. But uh, but yeah, um, you know, I I would not hesitate again if I came across a wetsuit to pick it up. Uh, they're very popular, and right now. Um, being out on the water or something surfing or um, any kind of board activities out on the water um, I guess it's kind of safer to do right now a little more um, social distancing and isolating um, so that's that's kind of a great activity to have right now and uh, so yeah so this was oops this was really nice I was going to go down in the pictures here and show that I did um, take some pictures of the tags and the back had this really um, heavy duty zipper on it 
and so I did take some uh, close-up pictures of it and so I did um, take a best offer of uh, $40 on that one and I did um, I must have sent out the offer on this on this one because I did include a shipping discount um, on it also so those were my sales and so I'll quickly go over my numbers um, 16 items I annual cost average um, my cost of goods to two dollars and 25 cents so for 16 items that is 36 dollars my fees um, for everything the PayPal the eBay the Poshmark all of that are sixty dollars and twenty six cents my total sales are two hundred and ninety dollars and forty five cents again which is down uh, about what twenty five dollars or so from last week um, not surprising though I mean this time of year people are trying to take a little bit of a vacation as best that they can so it's understandable that there aren't as many people out um, or weren't as many people out shopping online and my total profit was a two hundred and nine dollars and twenty nine cents um, so that is the week of uh, July 9th through the 15th. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, if you enjoy this type of content um, or some more, I'm um, going to get back into doing some more of my thread up kit analysis coming up also. Uh, so appreciate anybody who is interested in subscribing to this channel. Um, like or um, feel free to comment um, on your way out. And um, I will be doing another what sold video. And as I was working on my totals, it's like this week is is so far doing um, a little better number wise because I'm already at um, 16 sales with uh, about two and a half days to go. So uh, this next upcoming week is going to be um, hopefully a little better with the the dollar totals um, always appreciative of every sale I get um, really do um, especially with everything that's going on um, really value and appreciate uh, all of my customers and uh, again thank you for watching and um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave those behind and I will uh, talk to you next time